Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x minus y minus 2z equals negative 6, 3x plus 2y equals negative 25, and negative 4x plus y minus z equals 12, and we need to solve this by elimination. Well, I'm looking at here and trying to see what I can eliminate. The first equation here has a negative 2z, and then the third equation has a 1z. So if I uh, multiply a second equation by 2, I can get uh, something that can eliminate the z values. So let's rewrite this here, the first equation, x minus y minus 2z equals a negative 6. The second or third equation, I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 2 up here. 2 times negative 4x is a negative 8x. 2 times y is, well, 2y. And then 2 times negative z, negative 2z. And then don't forget the 12 times 2 is 24. If I subtract these two equations from each other, my z's will be eliminated. So let's do that. x minus a negative 8x is like adding a positive 8x, and we have 9x. Negative y minus 2y, right, is a negative, we have 3y here. Negative 2z minus a negative 2z is like adding a 2z's, 2z's cancel. And then negative 6 minus 24 is a negative 30. All right, so now I'm also in a pickle here, because I have a 9x minus 3y equals negative 30, and I want to try to eliminate another variable. But what happens if I, well, take this second equation here and multiply it by 3? I would then have a 9x, which I have a 9x here. So let's go do that. All right, I'm going to take this second equation and the whole thing I'm going to multiply it by 3 and put that down here. We have a 9x now plus 3 times 2 is 6y equals, and then negative 5, a 25 times 3 is a negative 75. Let's rewrite this equation underneath it. 9x minus 3y equals a negative 30. And let's subtract these two equations. 9x minus 9x cancels. That was the whole point, right? They cancel each other out, and we get a 0. 6y minus a negative 3y is like adding a 3y. And we have a 9y. Negative 75 minus a negative 30, adding a 30, is a negative 45. Divide both sides by 9, and y is by itself, and it's a negative 5. All that, and we got y equals negative 5. Great. So where do we go from here? Well, we can take one of our equations, and we can plug negative 5 in for y and solve for x. So let's go do that with this equation right here. We have 9x minus 3 times a negative 5 equals negative 30. Well, let's simplify and solve for x. 9x here. Negative 3 times a negative 5 is a positive 15 equals negative 30. Subtract a 15 to both sides. And we have 9x here equals a negative 30 minus 15, which is a negative 45. Divide both sides by 9. Oops, <laughs> I almost wrote a 9 there. Oh, let's make it an x. Divide both sides by 9. x is by itself here. And negative 45 divided by 9 is a negative 5. So we have two x, uh, we have x value and a y value, we need to find the z value. So if I use my first equation here, I'm going to substitute, okay, substitute our x and y values, uh, variables, and for their numbers. So instead of x, I have a negative 5 from the first equation again, minus, in parentheses, negative 5 here, minus 2z equals a negative 6. And now we're solving for z. Negative 5 minus a negative 5 is like, uh, well, minus a negative 5 is like adding a positive 5, and that actually comes out to be 0. They cancel each other out, right? That's positive, 0. So we have minus a 2z here equals negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 2, and z is by itself. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is a positive 3. So we have our three values. We write as a coordinate point, negative 5 for x, negative 5 for y, and z is 3, and then as our final answer, x is negative 5, y is negative 5, and z is 3.
Hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math.